Hey everybody and welcome back to the channel. I'm Brandon. Diana. Yes, this is another husband and wife show. The videos me and my wife are going to be doing are going to be the more mature shows. Like we're fixing to do the El Camino trailer reaction. And then whenever Joker comes out, we're going to go see Joker. And we're going to do a reaction on that movie. And we've already done Stranger Things. Like I said, unfortunately Ishmael can't be involved in those because he's not old enough to see that type of content yet. We're kind of strict with him on that. Yeah, with our kids. We don't yeah. let them watch movies that are not appropriate for them. And Ishmael, sometimes he can watch a PG-13, not all of them, because some, some of them have uh, contents that he doesn't supposed to be watching. Yeah, as long as it's just action, like superhero action or Transformers or something right. like that, it's fine. But not when it comes to sexual content or a lot of bad language. Right. But the reason for the video today is the new El Camino trailer came out for the Breaking Bad spin-off show. It's El Camino. However you say it. El Camino. El Camino. <laughs> it's supposed to be about... It's supposed to be like the car that El Camino it's, has the... It's like the road. Yeah, it has like the truck bed in the back of it. Yeah. I never liked those cars. I always thought they were ugly. Well, really? Yeah. Oh. Or never my style. Anyways. But yeah, that's the reason for this video, is the trailer dropped a couple days ago. I've actually seen it, my wife hasn't seen it, so we're going to get into the trailer and we're going to do a little reaction about it. Skinny Pete looks awful. Jesse he doesn't looks, look any better. <laughs> Jesse looks worse. <laughs> so that's after, right? Yeah. Then he escaped. It's a gotta look like crap. Brock should still be alive. The girl? Brock. He's getting in trouble again. You ready? Yeah. Okay, this is a big suspense. Like the person that didn't show who said, You ready? Well, we just got done watching the video. Uh, it was a lot of Jesse. Like yeah. I said. Only other characters we saw were Skinny Pete. And the guy that you don't like. And Stupid Badger. God, and I hate Jay's, him. Jesse. Yes, and a lot of Jesse. One thing I don't understand is that, okay, so Jesse, at the end of the Breaking Bad, what happened to wait, him? Wait, wait, wait. Spoiler alert. Just in case, before we get into this, if you haven't seen Breaking Bad, I don't know why you're watching the El Camino trailer, but just... Just to be safe, spoiler warnings for Breaking Bad if we spoil anything if you haven't seen it, so, alright. Who ahead. in the world is not going to see Breaking Bad? It, it's just it's a, literally been a, a many years that the show came out. I mean, it could be good, someone like me. It's just a good thing to put it out there just to be safe. Alright, whatever. So. All I know is that, <coughs> okay, so after, in Breaking Bad... So, Jesse, what happened to Jesse? He escaped, because I don't remember it very... Yeah, Walt helped him escape, remember? He killed the Nazi guys with the, the gun turret thing was on in the uh, trunk of the car. Yeah. Okay, so he escaped, right? Yeah. Now, 
the police is looking for him. Mm -hmm. But back then, how long this is happened since then, supposedly, in the movie? Because he looks, he looks like he's fat. He doesn't look nothing like he was before. You know, scrawny. No, it looks pretty soon. Because all his scars and everything look really fresh. His wounds and his hair still look... He looks... It looks like he just escaped not that long ago. They should have put him in on a diet and lose a lot of weight so he would look exactly like when uh, when Breaking Bad finished was done over. Yeah, I don't remember because they weren't really starving him. I mean, they were feeding him. But, I mean, like I said, his wounds look fresh. He looks like he did at the end of Breaking Bad whenever he escaped. And it looks like he went straight to Skinny Pete's house. Well, he's the only, those are like the only people he knows. He doesn't have anybody else that he will go and rely on. No. Uh, Walter is, nobody knows about Walter. Nobody knows if he's alive or not. And they haven't even given us anything, you know, like so we can talk about it. And I hope, I think I saw another stuff on Facebook that Mike is coming back to. Yeah, I saw that too. Where he said he is going to be in it. But I think that's going to be like a... It, well, I mean, it has to be because he's dead. So it has to be a flashback or show something from the past. But yes, that actor will be back in the show this season. Uh, yeah, it showed a lot of Jesse. Just him in certain, certain situations. It showed a lot of Jesse, him in certain situations. A lot of him, yeah, in his car and different places, like stalking people, kind of looking like like he's. I don't know who he could be going after though, because he ever, looks like he's going uh, for revenge. He's, he's trying to get someone. Well, everybody that he wanted revenge against is dead. So, well, I at least that's what they're making us see. You know, yeah. I mean, you don't know. Yeah, and then the end of the trailer, a guy is like, are you ready? And he's like, yes. No telling in the world who that is. Yeah, I don't recognize his voice. I don't no. think it's, it's a character from Breaking Bad. I mean, I don't know. What do you think? No idea. Like I said, pretty much all the big characters and major players from the Breaking Bad are all gone. So, I don't know who it could be. I don't know if Jesse's going to start cooking again or... No telling, I mean... This show could go any way it wants to. I mean, Vince, Vince Gilligan could end this movie and then leave it open for another movie afterwards. That would be stupid. Which I wouldn't mind. More Breaking Bad is good for me. I love it. I love the show. Well, instead of making a movie, they could have made like a, a prequel, a, a series, instead of, instead of a movie. You know, it would be more to add up into, you know, every episode or have many episodes so they can kind of, like, add more into it. Yeah, I, would, I would think that would be a better thing yeah, instead I'll, of a movie. Because a movie is what? Like, how, how long is this movie going to be? Like an hour? Hour and a half, maybe. Exactly. I mean, there's not a lot what they can, you know, um, put into the movie. It's not a lot of info. Yeah, that'll be the uh, that'll be the b big thing for Vince Gilligan to do is he's always done the, of course, long series with a lot of episodes. This will be this will be a new thing for him to try to tie everything in and like I said, a movie. Like I said, we don't know if he's gonna tie everything in or if it's gonna be a one off or maybe more movies afterwards. I would love to see eventually like a Gus prequel, like see where Gus. I mean, they okay, yeah, where he coming from. Just see, like, the start of, like, the whole uh, mafia people. Right. From where they started where from, start. all those people, his connections. From Salamanca and stuff like that. I, would, I mean, we're seeing a little bit of Mike from Better Call Saul, but I'd like to go more into Mike's background. Like I said, Better Call Saul isn't done yet, so we might get his whole full story with Gus is what it's looking like. But I'd like to see, Mike is a very interesting character in every... I really like him. Yeah, his his police detective work is is top notch. It's on point. Yeah, and it's funny because you know how he he looks so old. <laughs> you won't say how bad he is or yeah. the many things that he can do. And since he's like very quiet and 
just to himself. Yeah. You know, not a lot of people knows about him. Not even the his son's wife. You yeah, know? she has no idea. She has no idea in the show who he really is and all the things that he does. You know, like like on uh, the medical soul, uh, the guy that he's working with, he's that he's with Salamanca. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they don't even know that. <coughs> I mean, and he, I mean, I don't want to jump into his character that much because we're not actually talking about the show medical soul. It's more about the Camino, but I just think. Um, He's a good character. I like him. Yeah, he's a great character. Um, so there's not much to go off in this trailer. It said so it mainly just shows Jesse like in his car driving around, just showing him like like yeah he's trying to hide from the cops and like he's tracking people down. We don't know who. It's not even a lot of talking. It's no talking. It's just yeah. it's just showing and I think that's what intrigue us more. You know, it's not like a regular movie that they, you know, they show more. This is more just like little sneak peeks. Yeah, it's more just to, uh, just like, to give you a taste of it a little bit. And I don't like that taste. <laughs> it makes me anxious. I mean, there could be another trailer before the movie comes out, but I bet I think it would be best to just leave it like this and just leave you wondering, wondering what's going on instead of showing you too much, which I hate being spoiled. But no, I don't we actually did make another video a few days ago uh, with our thoughts on what we thought El Camino was going to be about and going into our theories and stuff. And I'm actually going to go straight from this video into that one because we were going to post that video until this trailer came out. And so I think I'm just going to go ahead and combine both videos. So, well, that video will be coming up right now. This is actually going to be called El Camino on Netflix. Comes out October, Friday, October 11th. Are you looking forward to this as part of the uh, Breaking Bad sequel? I am. I'm actually am. You got me into Breaking Bad, so. Yeah. We definitely need to watch it. Just like you better, be, you, we need to finish. You better call Saul too. We haven't finished that, and that's a prequel of um, Breaking Bad. Yeah. Well, it because just. It's, it's, but you better call Saul, then it's Breaking Bad, and then it's El Camino. Well, actually, we are cut up because it was season four. We just finished with Better Call Saul. Waiting on season five, I believe, end of this year or beginning of next year. I don't remember exactly when it ended. I don't remember either, but we definitely finished it. I don't even remember what, how it ended. Well, spoiler alert. Three, two, one. Chuck dies at the end of this last season. Remember when he burned the uh, house down? Yeah. So, I mean, we haven't seen a body yet. We're just assuming that he died, but I'm pretty sure he, he's dead. Yeah. I guess that's the reason why Saul went and he became... Uh, yeah, well, he became medical Saul. Because yeah, first, well, he's, he he's Jimmy. Yeah, he's not Saul Goodman yet. We haven't seen that official turn of him becoming Saul Goodman, but, you know, it's coming eventually, either this next season or the season after. But as far as El Camino goes, it's going to follow with Jesse escaping from the uh, Nazis uh, prison, basically, whenever Walt, Walt came and helped break him out. Yeah. Uh, well, the big question is, is Walt really dead? I've heard some speculation that somehow Walt is going to still be in the hospital. Somehow he, he survived. What do you think? I do think he probably did, because no, I mean, at the end of the season, all you saw it was that he went to the lab, and he fell in there. Yeah. I mean, someone could have came and found him, you know, still with a little bit of light, uh, you know, life, but I'm pretty sure he's alive. I mean, they're not going to kill him just like that, especially if you're going to start this other show or movie, right? It's a movie. And yes, Netflix. yeah, it's uh, yeah. I was surprised when I first heard about the movie. I thought it was gonna be like a cinematic movie, like come out in the movie theaters. But I heard on Netflix, so I'm guessing it's just a one-off movie. I don't think it's like a mini series. It's like a short, like Chernobyl. Film. It's probably like a short film, you know, kind of like um, that movie, the 
triple frontier. Yeah. Kind of like that. Like it keep it keeps it open ended for possibly a sequel Something, in the future. Right. But I don't think it's like Chernobyl where it's just like an eight episode series. I think it's just a one off movie, but uh, no telling. They um, haven't said that yet. Yeah. Or have they? It's just no. gonna be like a show, like a small, like a like a movie in Netflix. You know how they Netflix had come out with movies. Yeah, because I mean I don't think anybody suspected or thought nothing was gonna come after Breaking Bad. I think everybody thought that Breaking Bad was done, movie was over, Jeffrey escaped. But everybody wondered what happened to Jesse. Everybody was wondering, you know, when Jesse escaped. Okay, what's gonna happen to Jesse? Where is he going? Yeah. What's gonna happen to him? So I guess. Probably that people, so many people are asking. He just, Vince Gillian, Gilligan was like, well, I still got more material. I'm making Better Call Saul. I could make another show. Make another, make yeah, another movie. well, personally, me, I was asking what happened to Jesse, which I really did hate him in the show. It's just stupid. I really did. But I really like Walter. He was bad. Yeah. Walter. Yeah. Mr. White. Yeah, Walter had his turns where people loved him and hated him. He got he got really bad where he poisoned the kid and uh, he did a lot of really yeah bad things. Really bad things. I mean, all the characters in the show inside did a bad him, thing. he had that bad um, character inside him. I mean, I think everybody does have that character inside them. They just haven't, you know, brought it out like he had. I guess because from the cancer that he had. You know, he just start. He didn't get. He didn't care, since he knew that he was gonna die. He was like, might as well just do bad things. Yeah, it gave him a new lease on life, and he was like, well, if I'm gonna die anyways, I might as well die going out in yeah. blaze of glory. It was kind of his attitude, and after everything that happened, just kind of flipped a switch. He would go from Mister Nice Guy, kind of like Jekyll, Mister Hyde. Yeah. Make to Mister. Would make that change. Yeah. But, uh, yes, we're supposed to see characters returning. Which, God, I hate Badger so much. I don't I don't want to see Badger come back, but I know he's supposed to come back. And Skinny... Badger, is, he, is it the one that sounds really stupid? The yeah, one that you always say that you hate so him? So annoying. Even just... I don't think it's the character that you hate. It's just the person, too. Because we've seen him in, a, in other movies. And, you know, like, I hate him. I saw... I've seen him in another TV show. And I had to turn it. As soon as I saw him, I was like, I do not like this actor at all. It, his voice is really annoying. For some reason. It, it's like... It's kind of like a women's voice, but... It's just I him. Like, I just don't like the actor. I don't like his face. I don't like his voice. I don't like his mannerisms. I just... I just don't like him at all. Might be a great guy in person, but I just don't like him as an actor. I just don't. And uh, it's funny to see Skinny Pete in the previews because if you look him up, like as the cast, he looks like he's on meth. Like in the show, he looks like the character on the show. Like he, he looks bad. In, like in, in real life. life. Like very skinny, like his name Skinny Pete in the show. He's got really bad... His skin. skin is really bad. Like, he looks like he's a meth head in real well, life. Well, maybe he was at one point, you know. Yeah. Just like El Machete, he was a real criminal and he became Danny an Trail. actor. Yeah. Also a Rams fan. Yay, my Rams won tonight. It's Thanks. it's Sunday night here, so I just got finished watching the game against the Browns. Yes. Good win. Anyways, going back to the show. Yes. The movie. And also heard rumors of Saul Goodman could show up in there. Because we've seen a lot in... Uh, we've seen a lot in the... We've seen a lot in the Better Call Saul show where they show the uh, flashbacks. Or I guess it would be flash forwards of him working at the cinema. cinema yeah. But that's after Breaking Bad. Yeah, exactly. So people are kind of putting this together saying, well, if this is showing him after Breaking Bad and Jesse is after Breaking Bad, they could run into each other again somehow. Yeah. Okay. I, I, okay. Yeah. It would could be. Possibility. Or it could be a possibility that he came back when everything just kind of like, you know, the water's kind of like, you know, the high sea metal down. Yeah, but I think. I think he's still a wanted man, so I don't think he would go back to New Mexico. 
Because what were he was when the was saying he in Canada or where was he? Nebraska. Nebraska. I okay. Yeah, because he mentioned that in the end of Breaking Bad. Maybe I'll go to Nebraska. I think he was in Omaha and run a Cinnabon. That's yeah. what he's doing. This after Breaking Bad, that's what. But I don't know how they would meet back up. It's just it's just rumors I've heard. You know, somehow I think somehow they'll they'll get him in the show just mm -hmm. to pop up. And also I've heard of Skyler possibly showing back up, Walt Jr. and also Marie. What about the Purple Lady? Yeah, I know. She was annoying. Everything, Everything purple. purple. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, but what about Marie's uh, Hank? Well, Hank died, remember? Did he? Spoiler alert! I ruined it in case you haven't seen Breaking Bad. Did he? But you remember Hank, Hank getting shot and killed? By the twins. No, by the Nazi guy. Sorry. Oh, I guess she forgot. Remember they were in the desert and also the... Uh, what was this Hispanic guy, his partner? Totally forgot, just forgot his name. Um. Yeah, both of them got killed out Oh in the my desert. goodness, we have to go back and watch it. Well, I remember. No, I, I need to go back and watch it. But yeah, they went out there to bury, bury the money. And then also, Will Walter White return. We've already gone over that a little bit. Right. But I've also heard mentioning, it could just be like flashbacks or dream sequences if we do see him. Not just him coming back like he's alive. He did get shot. He was <clears throat> like laying on the floor, basically, or led to believe that he died at that point. Right. But there's always a possibility that, that he's still alive. Yeah, because we heard the sirens and stuff going off whenever he was laying down. So possibly they found him and he was still alive. Right. But also, Survive yeah. him. also a possibility that it could just be a flashback or a dream. Could just so, could just show. Going back in time when Jesse and Walt started cooking again could just show different scenes we haven't seen before. Well, why would they bring Mar Marie either, too? I mean, it doesn't make any sense. I'm pretty sure he's alive because he needs to give hard time to Marie. And Marie needs to give him a hard time. You know how he, they were at the end? That she hated him and they, he hated her. And they were doing each other, you know what I mean, stuff. Yeah, who are you talking about exactly? Marie. Marie. Marie and who? And uh, oh, I'm sorry. It's actually Skyler. <laughs> sorry. You mean Skyler and Jesse? I mixed up. No, Skyler is the wife of uh, Walter White. Yeah, but who who were you saying would be in conflict? Walter White was in conflict with Skyler. Okay. At the I end just want to the clarify. Season. Right. Yeah. Yeah, because she find out how he was making the money. And all that money, but then she didn't mind spending it and all that stuff. Yeah, after you know, they like got... She was greedy, too. Yeah, it got to where she was. After they made their agreement, they were working together, yeah. Yeah, because she saw all that money, you know, and she got greedy. Yeah, and she got to accept the fact that Walt wasn't going to leave her alone. Walt was like, well, I'm moving in. You already know what I'm doing, and basically you're accessory to this, and... Right. So we can either make money together or we can go to jail together, basically. Right. And plus, they had a baby. They had the little girl. Yeah. And Walter told her, think about the kids. You know? Yeah. So, I mean... We could possibly just show Skylar and maybe the baby growing up a little bit, Walt Jr. I mean, they don't have to play a big part. It, they could just show just little cameo appearances. just Like what happened afterwards and then yeah. jump into what it is going to... The, the movie? Yeah, because at the end, whenever Walt gave Skylar the coordinates to find Hank, she was like, he was like, you can use this as leverage to get, like, time off. So they could show, like, if Skylar went to jail, if she didn't go to jail, like, what happened? Yeah. You know, what have, what became, what became of that? You know, did she get jail time? Did she not get jail time? Where's Walt Jr. at this point? Where's the baby? Where's Marie? It could just wrap up all that just to give us peace of mind, you know, just, just showing where everybody's right. at. Well, we definitely need to see um, maybe some previews of the movie. Have you seen if they come out with anything or just no. by what they're saying? And it was just a short teaser. I think that might be better just to keep us thinking right. what's going on. Because trailers nowadays just give away 
give away way too much. I mean, and you never know if Walter Jr. too, you know, turn around. Because you know how he was all goody-goody. You never know if he turns around, you know, because he got mad maybe because Skyler went to jail. And, you know, he just turned to that, you know what? It's not right. Oh, he was mad at his mother. He was calling her the B word and everything, yeah. saying you're just as liable as dad is because you knew about what he was doing, like she was working with him. So their son, well, Junior was really mad at her too, so. Yeah, I mean. and he left at one point. He went to live with Marie, no? no because I, he was mad. I think he went to live with one of his friends. Oh, okay. I don't exactly remember. The point is that he left the house because he was so mad. <clears throat> yeah, but by the time Breaking Bad ended, he would, they were all together still at that house. Marie's house. Not at the actually house. Not at the house. They were at Marie's house. Because something was going on. They had to go because Skyler had to be in protection. Well, I don't think so because Walt showed up at, at their house because Skyler was there. And then he went to see the baby one more time before he left. So I think that was at their house. Well, you know, he was coming in there and getting money, and he knew there were people looking for him. So that's the reason why they were living in there. You don't remember? Um, they were, Skyler actually moved and went to live with Marie. I don't exactly remember if she lived with Marie, but I do remember he came back to get the rice in, and then their house was vandalized, and the kids were skating in their pool. Right. So I guess it was after that. Well, so, wherever they were living, it could have been with Marie. I don't, I don't exactly remember. It could have just been the cops had like a, a safe house set up or an apartment set up for them to live in. I don't know. It could be. Because they were being watched and guarded the whole time, <clears throat> hoping Walt would show up. Yeah. Well, it was actually, yeah, I guess. But for a meanwhile, they were living at Marie's house. And okay. I remember that because the house, it was purple everywhere. Purple yeah. couch, purple mat, everything was purple. Yeah. So. Yeah, I don't exactly remember, but um, yeah, I don't think there's any more trailers coming out. If there is, we'll go over it again just to do like another preview. But I think that's probably all we'll do for now, and then we'll do a we'll do a show after it comes out just to give our thoughts on it and and what we thought of it. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, looking forward to it. Well, I am definitely looking for it. You yeah, got me into all these shows. Oh, it's a so, great show. Yeah. All right. Well, if you would, please like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye. Bye.